Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey Ember! Hello. So, I am filming this very late. It's like 2 a.m. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it, okay? Um... Your girl's sleep schedule, it's all out of whack. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I work better at nighttime anyways, so like, I tend to stay up late, even if I was up early. Like, I woke up today at like, I got up, went to the bathroom, went and got myself my monster, and he just stayed laying, which never happens. He's right by my side everywhere I go except for when he's very tired <laughs> but yeah so he is all cuddled up on the floor next to me unfortunately no hopping up in bed for like a week um i occasionally let him sleep in my bed not too too often because to be honest he's so big i think he's way more comfortable on the floor um, but I have a bed down there for him guys he has pillows he's got blankets he's fine <laughs> and yeah like I said I think he prefers it but yeah he's healing up nicely he's doing just fine he's a fucking menace with his cone dude oh my god it catches on everything and he's just like so fed up with it also that like he just pulls he literally almost flipped my coffee table the other day oh my god but yeah enough talking about me guys although i know you love to hear about goo but yeah he's doing really well he has a checkup in a couple days so you know we'll see how it's going then but yeah he's just he's so active and he moves so quickly that like i'm just constantly afraid that he's gonna like pop a stitch or something so anyways guys our girl has not uploaded at all like <laughs> at all in the past four days or so so our girl might not be active on youtube but she certainly has had plenty of time for instagram and to get drunk by herself for like the fourth time this month so this is looking like a great turn of events for our girl um i do know apparently there was a deleted story from this mix um i haven't seen it so i don't know what the deleted story is about but apparently has something to do with a breakup. Boohoo, Amber. I really don't care to listen to her, like, charade of a love life. Like, I really don't. Because even if she finds someone to, like, manipulate again, the thing is, Amber doesn't know what love is. She's never been shown love, true love, in her entire life. But let's just dive in and see what the drunk biggie's got for us. So... I don't know why she would share this, because, I mean, it's a meme that doesn't really make sense for her. She could have erased the he and put she, but, you know, she didn't. I've modified memes before when I put them on my story, like, just doesn't make sense. Also, like, what the fuck does this meme even mean? Like, when he doesn't know that side of you yet? Your face is pretty. Thank you. Like... What the fuck does she think this means? <laughs> Bruh, this is so fucking cringy. This is so fucking cringy, dude. How the fuck... I want to know how the fuck she gets people to fall for this, but also how... Like, wh how? How? My god. You got it. She said, Fuck it, I'm so busy. Ew. Ew. Dude, you know what? I'm a bit of a Tammy Slayton apologist, but these are just as cringe as Tammy fucking coming on here. Especially when, like, the filter is hardly helping you anymore, girl. We can see the age on your face. And just, like, the years of rapid weight gain and then, like, very slow weight loss, like... It's taking a toll on you, babes. Your skin is getting loose. Ew. Ew. 
is the lyric saying take it to the bathroom like amber only one person can fit in there when it's you <laughs> and it's you you're the one person that can fit in that fucking bathroom could you imagine getting a quickie on in a stall with amber <laughs> it would have to be the handicapped one She's clearly fucking going through it, you guys. Fucking clearly. Someone's got this girl reeling. I wonder if it's mama. So, to answer everyone's question collectively, yes, this is Drunklin. Girl, I don't know why she thinks she's like some hot shit or like she's pulling a fast one over on us. Like, yeah, I'm drunk. What about it? What about it, girl? You're drinking alone for, like, the several time this month. I, that was the wrong choice of words. But you know what I mean. She has gotten drunk by herself several times this month alone since she moved into that apartment. That's more so than the past, like, two years combined. How is this not an unhealthy habit, girl? I mean, I'm not going to shade her if she wants to have a drink, like, at dinner time or whatnot, you know, like, at the end of the day. I understand that. I'm all for a rum and coke, a whiskey sour, a sangria at the end of a long day. I hear you. I hear you. The issue is Amber is not responsible in any facet of her life but especially when it comes to consumption uh whether that be media consumption she's not responsible whether it comes to physical consumption like eating she is not responsible consumption of drugs she is not responsible consumption of alcohol clearly she is not responsible like Amber, this is not a good look for someone that has a long history of not being able to know when to stop, okay? And let me tell you what, not to get, like, preachy, alcohol is a poison, okay? It is. That's why you react the way that you do to it. It's a poison that your body is having to filter. I'm not saying that, like, alcohol is bad. I'm not. I'm not one of those people. But, like, I think it is very heavily, like, understated the effects that long-term alcohol use can have, especially on someone as fucking unhealthy as Amber Lynn. It's just going to rapidly speed everything up, you know? Drunk Q&A. You want me to feel most confident? This filter. <laughs> clearly girl clearly you know she couldn't say like having the love and support of my family or you know having my true supporters on here like none of that you know nothing that actually matters it's a fucking snapchat filter like girl girl we don't act surprised, guys, if all of her videos start coming in this format and with that fucking filter. Because it's about to get to that time. The regular filters she uses slip off nowadays, like... <laughs> I use it all the time. We know, girl. We know. Literally, half of your Instagram feed is you with this fucking filter on your face. And it doesn't even do that much for you. Literally all the time. Okay, so based off of your question... Would you be able to live on your own, like nobody to drive you around to shop, etc.? Obviously fucking not. The answer is no, because your girl can't drive. She don't have a license, so... And it's not cute. You're 32 fucking years old living in a rural area. Like, get on that shit. Grow the fuck up. We don't do illegal things over here. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You dox people. You talk to underage people. You... Um, abuse your animals, you... <laughs> Girl, the list goes on and on. You give handies in fucking movie theaters? Girl, I'm a hardcore faggot. Sorry. And I don't even do that nasty shit. That's trifling. That is fucking trifling, whore-ass shit. And you know I'm not a slut-shamer. You know I'm not like that. But have some fucking decency.
Okay, I've tried to focus on this. Especially because, you know, it's not like they were going to go see the fucking Da Vinci Code. Like, I guarantee you there were probably children in that audience because they probably went to some fucking Pixar movie because that's all Amber's brain can fucking digest. And even then, I'm sure she misses the fucking point. Q&A. <laughs> and it's not working out for you. Yeah, that was such a great Q&A, girl. Well, so... She thinks she's so fucking cute, dude. Love you guys. Was that a ghost? Or She's literally so stupid. I think my fingers was a person. <gasps> she also shouldn't be drinking by herself in an apartment, to be honest, because what if something were to happen? What if something were to happen? We've already seen her stumble over her own feet when she's drunk before. What if she were to fall? and hurt herself, genuinely hurt herself, or hurt one of the animals. How the fuck would she get out of that situation? She wouldn't. She would have to lay there till fucking morning when her mom realized, why don't I have 50 missed calls from my bitch of a fucking loser daughter? Oh my god. Hey. I do have a little friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, your hand. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think she knows what she just did there, but um, yeah, Amber, I'm sure your hand is the only friend you have. <laughs> or maybe all those vibrators that Becky bought for you. <laughs> Ew. So I'm eating sunflower seeds. Wow, at least she's getting some fiber through those fucking guts. <laughs> Some Sorry guys, these videos get me in such a mood. I hate it when she fucking... And she's not showing this on YouTube because she knows she'll get fucking flags for it. YouTube has gotten a lot stricter about showing this type of shit and even eating on channels now. So, girl, you know that you would get reported so fucking fast for uploading this shit to YouTube. Sometimes I'll crack them like that and then eat. But who knows, maybe we'll get another drunk Lynn video. Then, and then other times, I just eat the whole damn thing. Girl, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you fucking do. Just shove the whole thing back there. God damn. That's very much Amber for you, you know? I bet you since usually everyone says that like ad revenue is down in like October, November and whatnot. I think the girl got her monthly money and she said like it's I think more so she's probably really preparing for December, like trying to pre-record as much as she can or trying to figure up some storyline to stir up for december time maybe we'll go back into a weight loss arc or weight loss surgery arc guys could you imagine i bet you she probably fucking would or it's going to be it's going to be something health related i don't think it's going to be like a stupid troll necessarily i think it's going to be the years of her trolling us catching up to her honestly who knows though who knows i'm thinking some mama drama is going to definitely be coming through soon but anyways, guys, I don't want to waste too much time. I'm not going to make any promises because it is so late when I'm filming this. And I'm not going to get it edited and ready for you guys tonight. Sorry. So you'll see this Sunday morning. So happy Sunday. So we're going to take a look at Thanksgiving and Black Friday shopping 2016. Comments are still turned off. Go figure. 105,000 views, I don't know anything about the thumbs up. Like I said, I'm not going to make any promises because this video might be a longer one already. Actually, I do know. Okay, so we're going to do just this video and then the next one will be like a triple feature because it's two short videos followed by a somewhat longer one. But those shorter videos, man, they get me going more than her fucking longer, boring-ass vlogs do. But anyways, guys, I have definitely talked more than enough. I'm sure half of you have clicked off already. <laughs> um, let's just dive right in, shall we? Hey, guys, I have... Hey, Amber. Talking about vlogging, but I just want to say hello. I haven't vlogged in quite a few days. Destiny keeps surprising me with... Well, Bestie, nothing's changed. Beautiful flowers. I'm just like, you're so perfect. I don't want to like shade too much because I think that is still a very sweet gesture and whatnot. 
But all these flower ornaments she beget ornaments. Oh my fucking god. My brain is like literally dissolving in my skull. <laughs> Arrangements that Destiny gets for her are so like Walmart. Sorry, but they are like they look like Walmart bouquets. So I still haven't done anything to my which I'm sure that's perfectly fine for Amber. And if that's perfectly fine for you guys, too, then awesome. I would be very happy with a Walmart bouquet. All I'm saying is it looks like a Walmart bouquet. <laughs> um, the freaking desk is still downstairs and these pictures are still right here. Um, on of course, they're girl. I don't know is we're ever going to see these hanged up. True talk. <laughs> True fucking talk, because we know our girl can't hang shit. <laughs> so, this picture looks amazing just where it is with this whole, like, get up. Oh, does it? This, because we don't have a pantry. I explained that already. But yeah, I have been just so busy with work and friends and just life. I just need to get my shit together. <laughs> like, she has so many friends, you guys. We couldn't even imagine what that's like, could we? Freaking Thanksgiving's coming up, and I'm super excited I have Thanksgiving off of work. Yes. And Black Friday. Yes. So we got these little... <laughs> She specified that one, you know, for damn sure. Because why, why the fuck would they get that off? Also, I'm pretty sure she said in the past, like, what days they actually get off for, like, holidays. And it wasn't that many. Most places, like, all you really get are Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. Like, well, Destiny got these letter things. We're going to have to get more because it's just one of each letter. I tried to spell wasabi. We just need another A. We can't spell Jax, though. <laughs> So this full box, this is a huge box, is full of Crystal's gifts. Bro, you bought that many fucking gifts for your ex, dude? That's fucking ridiculous, dog. Oh my god. No wonder. No wonder then. You know what? You know what? As much as I don't really condone all that Destiny did during this with Dana... I fucking understand it now. You're damn fucking right I do. Doesn't matter it, that you just got a living room full of gifts. Look at your girlfriend sending a whole fucking huge ass box to her ex-girlfriend. That she prob she made you rap and she's going to make you go and drop off. Fuck off, Amber. Oh my god, dude. You deserve to get cheated on then. This is essentially cheating. I w would definitely start a fucking argument over this shit if a significant other was like, here, let us let me just fill up this giant fucking box with individually wrapped gifts that are probably way more personal than the ones I bought for you, and let's send them to my ex together. Fuck off, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're going to be sending her gifts out tomorrow. She sent mine out today, or was it yesterday? I don't remember, but... Yeah, yeah probably, like, one thing. What, she got you a stupid fucking journal? Yeah, I'm super excited. Maybe a hairbrush? We do this every year for each other, and... Every year, dude. This is the first year you've been apart from her. Like, you haven't been with Destiny that long, I don't believe. Like, what the fuck? She's like, oh, this is a lifelong tradition we've had. Sorry, guys. That... Whenever she starts off a vlog with something really just, like, despicable, it puts me into such a cynical mood for the rest of the video. I'm gonna try to not do that, <laughs> but she's just so fucking annoying, dude. I would not stand for that. Tradition. Call me jealous if you want. Fine. By all means. I am very possessive when I'm in, like, a full-blown relationship with someone. Unless, like, we set boundaries and whatnot, then I can adjust. But, like, if we're just going into, like, a relationship and just going for it, I'm very possessive. Not to the point where, like, it's really unhealthy, but to the point where that would be a fucking issue. <laughs> it's really fun. BT Dubs, this game, though, I am absolutely addicted to it. It's called Blocks. Of course, right off to some stupid shit. It's called Blocks Hex. Or something like that and you try to fit all of this in here and trust me yeah just like you and your torrid halls <laughs> you try to fit all of that into there it's pretty rough sometimes and i'm just like what let's see if i can do this one real quick 
Girl, your fucking stubby little fingers are too short. See, guys, I'm being mean. I need to stop. She's not going to be able to do it. I can already tell. See, I thought I had it, but... Nope. I'm sure I'll get it, because, I mean, I'm on level 48. Um, I've been playing for a few days now. This is really fun. Um, yeah, I, it looks uh, it looks like you've been playing for a few fucking days. That's probably all you've been doing. Destiny tries to sleep, and she's got to listen to those fucking sound effects. It's this right here. What the fuck is that noise? Is that Destiny taping more gifts for your ex-girlfriend? <laughs> Block Hexa, that's what's called. Yeah, but a thousand percent is. Damn, Destiny's fucking flying. Bro, fucking Bruno Mars. <laughs> Remember when he was all over the radio, dude? Oh my god. Never was too huge of a fan, I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I mean, I really liked the performance he did with Beyonce at the Super Bowl, but like, other than that, and oh, and he had, he had one song that, it was like a really, really slow ballad song. I think it came out when I was in like eighth or ninth grade. It was all over the radio. Really sad, but it was so good. I can't remember it. Nobody cares. <laughs> Put this on. We are getting awfully close and flirty, huh, Amber? You just can't help it, huh? You got one fucking sniff of the snatch and you're hog wild. Sorry, I don't know what the fuck I'm on tonight, guys. <laughs> I'm on some bullshit. Wait, gonna go over your butt? Oh my god. Those poor people in the background. Hold on, you gotta stop this. Oh my god, I kinda like it. <laughs> Amber, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Completely ignored. Completely ignored by your co workers. Don't fucking blame them. Are you gonna put yours on? No. Do we? <laughs> the whole ass sombreros. When I was like really young, we did a Disney cruise and. One of the stops was in Cozumel, Mexico, and we went and we got, like, these big sombreros that looked kind of like this, like, cheap ones, you know, not, like, authentic, I would say. But it was fun. We went. I still have it in Vermont somewhere. Can we just please honor this picture, please? <laughs> just please. Wait, wait. Oh my face. <laughs> That's cute. That's the best representation of Amber. Do you want to be on my vlog? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> she does not like you, girly. Alright, are we going? Take it off. Wait, I need help. Okay, thank you. Lego. I'm not a doctor. Ew, so wait. That was a restaurant. So they were just putting on these random ass sombreros in a restaurant that they were at. That's disgusting. That's foul, dude. Does no does no one fucking fear lice anymore? Like Jesus Christ. I remember lice was like just as bad as herpes when you were a kid. Like don't share a hat, don't do this, don't do that. Like you're getting checked every month by the school nurse. I don't know, maybe that was just my school, but my school was very strict about like lice and stuff like that. Like they drilled that shit into us. And you know what guys? I've never had lice in my entire life. So, mm. <laughs> Thank you guys for the time. It's raining. It's raining. Am I still, am I still going? Okay. Am I still driving with Charlotte? Yep. Driving. You driving? No, I'm not. I'm like you're riding. Just yeah, driving. I am. True. Riding. Okay. I love you, baby. I love you. You're riding in the front seat, Amber. I'm going in the back seat. Right, you're back. Bye. I love you. Bye. Why is she riding in a different car? What the fuck? No. Oh, I love you. I love you. Oh, did you? This black. Oh, black. I was thinking. Oh, it's this gray oh, oh, cat that's like. It's her daddy. Yeah. Is it really? Yes. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, got bigger. Max has got bigger just Hold on guys. Goo just like rolled over. I'm gonna take a photo of him and I'm gonna put it in.
the video. He is so precious. He just loves rolling over onto his side or his back and like just legs up in the air. Not a care in the world. Yes. Yes. I'm a no, you're my Where's Jack? I mean, look at that tail. Where's Jack? Jack's wet in the tree. Oh, there he is. So why did she have to ride in the car with the other one? I don't know. That seems hella suspicious. I'm sussed out. Squeeze. Your main squeeze? Jack's mine. <laughs> Come here. Jack's my baby. I love you. I love no. you so much. Did Destiny keep Jack's? No. She didn't. I don't know how people can be like, this animal is my baby, and then just give them up. I don't know how. I could fucking never, dude. I could never. Even when I was feeling, like, very, very overwhelmed in the beginning with goo. And I'm not gonna lie, I was second-guessing myself for a bit. I think you guys probably know that. Um, my first time rescuing a dog and my first time ever having a huge dog like this. Like, my mom was asking me, like... Are you sure you want to do this? Like, you know, you're... <laughs> she was like, you're not a bad person if you realize, like, this is too much for you and you bring him back. And I was like, Mom, th that would make me a horrible person. I could never. I could never. <laughs> oh, my God. I would not be able to live with myself. And I don't know how people do that. I was talking to this one guy, like, a couple days ago, and he was like... Oh, yeah, we just had to uh, bring my dog back because we're moving. And I was like, the fuck kind of an excuse is that? Like, what the hell? I'd find a place that will take a dog then before I ever fucking consider getting rid of an animal. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Instantly turned me off from the guy. <laughs> They're just so lovey. I love you so much. <laughs> Wasabi's the chillest cat in the world. He is. He's like, that's Hello. my baby. The best. That is my baby. What are you two brown? No, maybe going to sleep. That is a very well, those, they're both very well-tempered cats. It's probably because they got real used to being handled at a young age, just being like manhandled and fucking grabbed and tossed around by these fucking two lumps. The Aww. Sobs and then he picks the paw, make it comfier. Oh. I would literally die for my babies. Oh, you hear that? Amber would literally die for her babies, but she can't go without fucking chilies for them. Fat cunt. Sorry. Sorry. I'm getting to... Mm. I'm getting to... Mm. It's. I'll be honest with you guys. It's been a few days since I've watched an Amber video, and it's been really nice. <laughs> so I got a lot to say. I got a lot of piss and vinegar to fucking take out on her. <laughs> Twinkie's like wanting it. It's so dark in here. By the way, our cats ruined our tree. <sighs> Completely ruined it. Guys, so I got just the tree itself set up today. I'm not going to decorate it yet. I'm going to like... Well, first, I'm going to wait till Goo is healed so that we can have a real cute fun time and film it for you guys, obviously. It's going to be the most Christmas fucking shit you've ever seen. I mean, probably not, but like, it's going to be real cute. Real, real cute. And I think I'm going to make it more of just, like, a fun kind of, like, do this with me vlog. So, I don't know, it might feel... It's just going to feel like we're hanging out, which is exactly how these videos feel, honestly. So, like, you know, I like that as the vibe for my channel more so than, like, this doctored, highly edited, and, you know, like, this production of a thing, which I appreciate that content, but that's not the content I want to put out. I want it to be a little bit more humble, in a way. I don't know. Like, I just want it to be a vibe, you know? So, like, we'll listen to some records. I'll have to, like, speed them up or something so that I don't get copyrighted, but, like, we'll listen to some records. We'll, you know sip on some hot cocoa and decorate the tree with goo and it'll be a great time it's baby's first christmas so we gotta go big right and it'll also be after i do a vermont trip so you'll get like a vermont trip vlog and then you'll eventually get the christmas tree vlog i just think it's going to be really cute but i'll probably hold on to the christmas tree one until like december probably but yeah
just a heads up on, on that, guys, because I know you've been asking about it. And now people are asking about, like, art and whatnot. I definitely, like, as the channel grows, if we ever get to a point where, like, I feel comfortable enough doing a live stream, we could probably do one where we just, like, chill upstairs in my studio and, like, I paint and talk to you guys. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. I mean, we could fix this, but I mean, I should have known. There's this thing that people say is like a recipe you can hi. <laughs> you can put like vinegar and water and something else and like spray it and it'll Oh yeah, who who wouldn't love that? A Christmas tree that smells like vinegar. That's such a great idea, girl. Such a great idea. I'm sure it would probably work in some sense, but like, ew. I'm like not want your tree. So we're going to have to try that. So we're gonna go to the store and get some vinegar. So, although honestly, dude, some spraying vinegar in there probably does not smell nearly as bad as the smell of potent cat piss and amber. Wasabi is super heavy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh is it heavy? I feel like he ten pounds today. He's heavy. Like I bet your eyes water when you walk into that house. Have you guys ever experienced that walking into a house that just reeks so much of cat piss? And this is why I can't get behind cats and most cat owners is because I think I've come across like single digits cat owners that didn't reek of fucking piss. Sorry, but it's true. Okay, like I like the fact that I have an animal that goes outside. I don't like the idea of an animal pissing and shitting in my house. Sorry, sorry. Even if I were to get a cat, Christ, I would probably put his litter box out on the fucking patio. I don't know, dude. I just can't get behind that. I really can't. Honestly, I would be one of the ones whose house would smell like piss because there's no fucking way I'm going to change the shit every couple of days. Like, that's one so expensive and so much work. I'd rather just walk a dog. Purring. I love it. It's still growing. Are we going to do the Amber Talks or whatever? That little talk show? Oh, the talk show? Do you want to? I want to. Oh my God, please let's not. I got it's on. Charlotte's like secrets. Oh, no, I'm okay. You're purring. What are you doing? Well, them like babies. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Honestly, this is a bit of fresh air. We're going to watch Amberlynn touch everything. Bitch. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this shit? Fucking demonic. Did she just say it looks real? Bitch. Oh, the pink flamingo is definitely speaking to Florida, uh, Amberlynn's Florida woman. What? Why is it a flamingo dressed as Santa singing the Macarena? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> So I got a couple more Christmas decorations. Oh, of course you fucking did. Instead of buying like a ton at once, I'm just gonna do a little bit at once. I got a yeah, cause uh, why? Why does it fucking matter? You're gonna go every day anyways. Cracker, this is my first nutcracker ever. Like that I got for myself. <laughs> and then I got this. I actually like to collect nutcrackers. I got a lot of them up in Vermont. <laughs> and it's lighting up. If you guys can tell, I'll turn off this light so you can see it more. It says. Tis the season. Super cute. Oh, wow. We couldn't tell. It really goes with the theme I'm trying to aim for. I'm trying to aim for, like, silver, sparkly, white. Just a little hint of purple. Why does it gotta be white, Amber? Hmm? I got some of this stuff. I'm just shitting, you guys. I'm joshing her tree. Like, <laughs> I don't think Amber Lynn's making, like, a white supremacist Christmas, okay? <laughs> it's tinsel. Destiny says it's tinsel. I believe her, but that's just what I grew up saying. Stencil? But you dumbass bitch. <laughs> Tinsel. Dipshit. Oh my god. I feel like looks Her parents really failed her, dude. Perfect with the tree, honestly. I mean, oh, so perfect. Just look fuller and better. We fixed the tree, by the way. It still looks ugly in my professional opinion. And you know what, guys? Once you see my badass fucking tree, you'll understand. 
I also got this really cute deer, white and sparkly. Which okay, that's a little bit cute. It's a little cute. It's a little too cartoony for me. I would almost accept like an actual stuffed animal, like, you know, like all rounded edges and everything, not like a little statue. But it's cute. I think it would b look better with two. Exactly what I'm aiming for. Two on this side, like one standing up, one laying down, and then like a little bunny over here. Because I got this too, but I got this a couple days ago, which I already showed you guys. See, I bought... Which is exactly what I'm aiming for, because I got this too, but... I have some of these as well, like these I... stick things, but I cut them up, and I use them as filler in smaller areas. A couple days ago, which I already showed you guys. We also got a topper. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. Yeah, I don't like toppers on trees. I like the natural top of a tree, like how it looks. It definitely goes with the theme, but I feel like there needs to be more light up there. So I might get one that has lights on it, but I'm really loving the tree. <laughs> like a lot. It looks like someone vomited Christmas on it, and that's exactly what I was aiming for. Babe, it looks like someone vomited, that's for sure. We're gonna do the whole vinegar spray and see- Can you do something with those fucking white boxes in the corner though, dude? Like, oh my god. You look like one of those, like, Marie Claire or, you know, one of those fucking pyramid scheme sellers. Literally, I was wrong. It's just vinegar and water, just the tiniest bit of vinegar. And it's supposed to help. It's not going to harm the cats in any way because or else I wouldn't do that. Um, Girl, it's fucking vinegar. I'm pretty sure they'd be fine. It's just, like, one of the most helpful things that people do when they have a Christmas tree and they don't want their cats to get on it, so. Right. The most helpful, other than you could just, like, maybe put a fence around it or some shit. Like, I don't know. But cats are assholes, dude. That's why I don't want one. <laughs> right? Just do a little bit. Hey, guys! Happy Thanksgiving! Ew, dude. Ew. Fucking tree smelling like Amber's fucking rolls. Okay, so you guys will be seeing this video sorry that's so gross but you know it's true you know she her sweat is like fucking vinegar dude maybe later than thanksgiving but today is thanksgiving and i wanted to say happy thanksgiving to everyone and i'm very thankful for all of you i don't say it enough because i don't know how to like express that like 100 percent fully but i just want to say happy thanksgiving and i love you guys so much and thank you for just being a part of my life and just my journeys i think this is like my third thanksgiving my fourth thanksgiving on youtube i don't really know but yeah i'm just very thankful for you guys and I'm thankful for everyone in my life, Girl. my friends. Two scarves too. I'm just noticing that. Wow. Um, I don't have any family in my life right now, but I like I'm creating my own family, you know. And yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, I wonder why you don't have any family. Kicked them all out. Me, and Destiny, and Twinkie Star. We're all dressed and ready. Twinkie has this really cute um sweater on right now. We're gonna keep it warm because it's cold out. But we're gonna go to her mom's um and have Thanksgiving dinner there. And I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm just wearing this sweater that I got from Kohl's, black pants because they go with everything. Girl. You should have wore a shirt underneath, true tea. Amber should invest in like a lot of like really thin sheer undershirts just to like help shape it out a bit more. I mean, the, the bitch loves uh, Kim Kardashian so much. You think she'd try out skims, but I guess not. I'm gonna be wearing a pair of my flats. I'm thinking either floral or gold. Haven't yet decided. Um, I'm wearing two scarves. Doesn't matter, babe. Either way, it's gonna be ugly. Um, a green one with this floral one. This is stupid idea. Never seen someone wear two fucking scarves at once. Totally fall to me, like screams fall in like 12 different ways. And I'm wearing this necklace. I thought this looked really cute. And these earrings. I don't remember where I got any of this. I'm pretty sure I got this necklace from Walmart. Babe, it's all, it's all Walmart. The fuck you mean? A thousand percent. I don't remember where I got the scarves. I think Charlotte Rue's earrings. Don't remember. My hair is in space buns. So... That is my outfit, and I hope you guys have a great day today. I don't really know how much I'm gonna be vlogging. Probably not much, but if you guys see some something after this clip, then awesome if you don't. I mean, whatever, girl. I hope you ate your heart content. I just wanna say, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video, but hopefully, I film at least something, but I really just wanna like cherish the memories without worrying about like taking out my camera and stuff, but say yes to that tree, though, like, yay. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. The fucking tree. <laughs> it, it. Are you ready to go see Grandma? Are you gonna get some turkey today? Yeah. <laughs> that poor dog has had so many fucking grandmas, so many other moms, like, Jesus, dude. <laughs> Jesus, it must be so confusing. Yeah. That's why I don't be introducing men to Goo right away. I'm like, you can meet the dog once you've earned a second date. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she didn't. You ready? <laughs> oh, 
She's so cute. Yeah, just let her walk all over the ground with all that trash. Literally an empty fucking metal can right there. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you fucking trash beast. I'm also carrying my Rebecca Minkoff purse. Of course, Rebecca Minkoff. Who the fuck even is Rebecca Minkoff? <laughs> this cute little fluffy fox. <laughs> I think it's so cute on here. I love this. Okay, girl. I mean, I do. I love just like riding on back roads. So, like, I, I like this vibe. Oh, there we go. Amber's one true love. Yo, are those like cheese balls? You know what? I might talk a lot of shit. But I know these fat fuck families can make a good fucking potluck dinner. <laughs> Two families of morbidly obese people. Oh, fuck yeah, they can cook. Damn, that looks good. I bet you it was one of those nasty, like, weird ass Cool Whip Jello salad things. But it looks good, you guys. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like I could fit into the, like, Midwest and whatnot real well. Like, real suburban, like, Roseanne vibes, you know? Not Roseanne now. Roseanne back then. Like, the original show. Oh, I would have nailed it. Would have fucking nailed it, dude. I grew up on Hamburger Helper. Like, this shit is my life. A lot of dessert. Goddamn. Okay. This is where you lose me a bit. That's it's a little lackluster of a potato salad for me, but I've always been more of a macaroni salad person, not so much potato, so... Mm. Okay, is that like a sweet potato casserole? Okay, is that supposed to be marshmallows on top? Fuck yeah, deviled eggs. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm gonna hope that that's homemade cranberry sauce, but I don't think it is. <laughs> No, because there's the canned. Unless, because we do, we make our own homemade cranberry sauce, but then we also have canned at the dinner table as well. Like, I I can't not have the canned stuff. It's so good. Stuffing, fucking love it. Uh, That looks like a green bean casserole kind of thing. I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah. Some, like, shepherd's pie stuffing-like loaded potato shit that looks good cauliflower mash <laughs> oh fuck yeah the mac and cheese green beans oh those rolls look fresh corn fuck <laughs> amber's gonna be eating good <laughs> she's making me a little jealous look oh my god the mama and the daughter yeah She's like, stay away from my <laughs> precious little creation, you giant beast. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The last time we saw it, the its eyes hadn't even opened yet. Oh my god, it's so fucking cute. Oh, look at it yawn. They're calling her Little Bear right now. <laughs> she was chewing on my finger for a minute. Oh. Literally just a little fucking squeaker. Oh my god. I'll get them little gums going. Oh. She's trying to suck on it. She thinks it's a titty. Why does she keep up with the like Okay, Amber. <laughs> she doesn't know what else to do, huh? Don't know what to do. There it is. Mm. Okay, go easy on it, bitch. Give her your finger. Why? What's she, she gonna do? It. You want my finger? Yeah? No? She's so cute. Oh, she got mine. <laughs> she's just it doing? <laughs> she found herself a spot. I'm trying to get it. Like, like, like. She goes way over here and she crawled around all the way to this side. Oh my God. God. I just hate the way that she like tells us exactly what is happening in front of our very eyes, you guys. Like, I just fucking hate it. Oh, I fucking hate it, dude. I would be like 
like if I was in the room with someone and they were telling me shit that was literally happening right in front of me, I would be like, okay, why the fuck are you telling me this, dude? Like, shut the fuck up. I'm a dick, you guys. I really am. I don't know how y'all love me so much, (laughs) but like, (laughs) there's a lot that I just don't accept, you know? And like, just mindful, mindless talking, I don't accept that. <laughs> She's so sweet, I can't stand it. Oh my gosh. Well, you're sitting. <laughs> okay, I need to stop, I'm being stupid. What are you doing? Is this your comfy spot? Yeah. Yeah. It's, girl, I can only imagine how that fucking neck smells. Jesus fuck. So, Destiny and I did some Black Friday shopping, and I want to show you- Some? Some bitch. Got, we got a TV for upstairs, because <sighs> what we have upstairs is, like, this big. I think it's, like, 18 inches, so we got a 43 inch. Oh, yeah, that's so small. That's literally the TV that I have in my bedroom. Granted, the one outside, out in the living room is, like, 50 inches, but, like, girl. <laughs> Upstairs. It's 4K, Ultra HD, Smart TV. Although I'm not going to lie to you guys, I kind of want to get a TV for my upstairs one as well, but uh, I would get no work done. And like upstairs needs to be like work vibes, you know, but I hate it. Uh, I need to get a drawing table for in there, like a nice glass drawing table, because I have nowhere to like just sit and work in there. I have a desk down in my bedroom, but that's not my work area. There's a distinction. <laughs> Element. Destiny got Guitar Hero for the PS4. And Damn, y'all just all went all fucking out, huh? Yeah, the stuff so it's easier. Destiny got Doctor Who for Dimensions. Destiny, it's like a collection. Dude, okay. For one, Destiny's buying games with her name on it, okay? Video games are expensive as fuck, okay? These three games, that's easily 180 bucks, potentially. Like, games are not fucking cheap, and they weren't back then either. Like, a game like that, especially a collection pack, that's easily 60 to 70 bucks. I love the Destiny games. You got No Man's Sky. Damn. Yeah, these are expensive-ass games. I got a snowman. I did get a few more Christmas decor items. (laughs) I got three scarves, all in the same, like, concept. I have a green one like this. Concept, Jesus. It was super cozy and warm, so I had to get three more. You I got just had to. More uh, tinsel, but this one is white, which is very different from the one I have on my tree. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that when I'm done. I got two of these silver reindeers for Great. our stockings. I got a necklace that I thought was really pretty. I got two stockings. I got this really, really cute blanket for the living room. It's very Christmassy, but I'm gonna keep it in here like all year round. And for small Christmas trees, two glittered whites and two glittered silver. So I'm gonna get like this, this. Girl. This is literally like a Target fucking Christmas. This, that, that, taken care of, and I'll show you what I do with it. Please ignore the mess in this, these little cubbies. Like, we gotta get that all fixed, but it's like, we use these old laptops because the screens are broken on the TV. You know, I really should have stockings because I have a fireplace, but like, uh. And this is Destiny's like Dimensions game. Some of the Dimension stuff is just like a mess right now. But this is what I did with everything I just bought. We don't watch much TV downstairs. Girl, bye. <laughs> you watch a shit ton of TV. You're always, you're literally watching The Voice every fucking day so you can flick your bean to Miley Cyrus. So, like, when we do, this isn't gonna bother us. Like, it's not gonna be in our way because our TV's big anyway. Hey, you see my reflection? Hi. <laughs> Got the little snow guy right there for now. I don't know. I think it's super cute. Why didn't you put him with the fucking deer under the tree? It looked cute there. I'm thinking about getting little cubby things to match with my living room anyway. So, like, some of this looks put together better, but I love this aren't you just push shit in all those literally the hundreds of fucking boxes so much i just thought of it randomly like last night i was like okay i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get that today so i did <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys had a great thanksgiving and an amazing black friday if you went shopping found some good deals we kind of did so that was a good thing um true to you guys black friday it's such bullshit cyber monday is where it's at <laughs> christmas stuff was full price uh, everything I got was full price, but Destiny's things she found off. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Only the full priced goods for Mother Lynn. Little boy Destiny. You get the d- discount scraps. So I was like, oh, cool, that's awesome. So she really wanted to get them. So I was going to end this vlog after my outfit of the day, but I kind of. Oh, cool, that's really awesome. Oh. I to film a few more things for you guys, but I'm going to end it now. I'm super tired. Yes. So, love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye. Jesus fuck. 
Well, anyways, guys, yeah, this is a longer video, so I definitely am not doing any more. <laughs> it's almost 2.30 in the morning, so I'm going to get some shut-eye. Um, do hope you enjoyed the video, though. Definitely subscribe if you hadn't. If you hadn't, I'm a fucking idiot. If you haven't subscribed, do that. You made it this far. You might as fucking well. <laughs> Leave a like. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment below. And yeah, I know I keep saying that like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I am just got to wait for the right time. You know, like, I feel like it would be inappropriate of me to do the Christmas tree vlog before I go to Vermont, before goo is healed, before December even, you know, like, that's the thing. Like, I might film it now because I want to have my Christmas tree up early, but I don't know. I might save that for December, like a December 1st kind of vlog. Who knows? But yeah, I do want to, like, I do want to get you guys a Vermont vlog and whatnot so i don't know we'll do that i'll figure that out somehow to be honest most of the vlogging is probably just going to be clips of me and goo driving i'll try to like get clips of us doing different stuff it's mostly just going to be like walking around in the woods going on little hikes and whatnot thank you so much again for watching we'll catch you guys in the next one take care